Hey, my name is Thomas Davis and I'm a platform outbound product manager. And today I want to answer the question, are there any tips or tricks for housekeeping as it relates to performance analytics inside of ServiceNow? It's a great question. So big thing is governance, right? I, I, I think you can't say enough about governance inside of the platform and really honestly about anything that you do. And, you know, knowing what governance that you put in place and, and actually being able to you know, really adhere to it, I think is is vital. Uh, and here's a few things that we've thought about as it relates to that particular, uh, you know, topic of governance, you know, KPI governance or whatnot. So remove duplicate entries. So how often are there reports or something else that is basically saying and, and presenting the same exact information that something else is? So I think with that, it's important to understand that you need to have a naming convention. You need to make sure that whatever you're naming it is very, you know, descriptive to what exactly it is. So that way, if somebody goes in to create something, they can first search and see, is there something that's already out there, which then would hopefully alleviate the, you know, duplicate entries and duplicate reporting and things of that nature. So as long as you're very descriptive and a naming convention uh, is highly recommended, just so you know, when you're looking at things that are related to incident or things that are related to requests or change of that sort, you know, just just giving the ability for people to, you know, create and name it anything that they want, I think is kind of dangerous. So I think if you can put some restrictions and put some, you know, policies around what we want things to name, it will definitely alleviate, hopefully, you know, some duplicate entries uh, of things that are out there. And again, consolidation goes right into that. So, you know, when you consolidate something, so I, I think a great example is that if you have an indicator source, which is your data behind a, a widget in performance analytics, if you have an indicator source that will work for multiple widgets, uh, then, you know, maybe you just add an additional filter to the, you know, automated indicator. You don't necessarily need to have four or five indicator sources that are pulling the same exact data because you know what that is filtered on. And then, you know, basically, you know, having that one indicator source that correlates with one automated indicator, and then you have five that are basically doing the same exact thing. So, you know, that's a great way of controlling the data that you have, controlling the, the, the what's being pulled inside of the uh, instance itself. You know, jobs are ran where they're pulling data in. And what's the purpose of having multiple jobs um, or a job that has, you know, multiple things in it that are exactly the same exact way. So knowing how, you know, things are named, making sure that you remove duplicate entries and then consolidate wherever you can. So the great thing that I've, I've heard so many times is garbage in, garbage out, right? How many, how many things are you going to create that do the exact same thing? Now, there could be uh, situations where there are data sources that, you know, have quite a few automated indicators or whatnot that are using that. And may, maybe then you say, well, you know, maybe I need to create another one. Or maybe there is a time that you need it, you know, uh, pulled less often than more often. And maybe you want to do, you know, something around something like there's there's always reasons. But I think the first rule of thumb is that if you can consolidate, that's the best bet for you uh, all the time. So organizing your content. So how do we probably design dashboards uh, is key, right? And, you know, a couple, a few things here. So find the core. So determine the core theme based on the essence of the problem. What are you going to create? What's it going to look like? What's it going to give you? What problem is it going to solve? What are you going to be able to tell the business from that? Knowing what that core, that, you know, that's just one example of a core theme. But if you can answer all of those things inside of what you're, what you're creating, then at the end of the day, you have you know, created, you know, and solve the essence of the problem. Just make sure that, you know, whatever that theme is, that you know what it is. And ask best, ask better questions. Excuse me. What would you do if you knew this information? Actual insights. Quite often, I think that things are just created just to create them. Why not create something that actually gives value because it accomplishes something or it's able to give better insight to the business? You're, you're, you're able to fix something. You're able to show something. Maybe you're you have the ability to predict that something's going to happen, you know, create things like that, that actually give you power on what you're actually reporting on, rather than just creating things. And you really don't know whether or not there's any actual insights that you're actually able to gain from that and push to the impact. So push interesting, but but not critical information to an appendix. Know what you have out there, 
put it in something, create it in something so it's held there and know what you have there. And then encourage people to make sure that they search, search for something that's already out there rather than recreating the wheel. If it's out there and it works, then use it. If you have to change something a little bit, you know, that's okay. Make sure that you're using, uh, you know, an indicator source that is potential universal, you know, knowing what a indicator source is from a governance standpoint is huge. So if your business is, this is exactly the way that we want to pull that information, then you know that you have that inside of the indicator source and you push that out to people and say, this is what we want you to use. Um, and again, things that aren't critical, push them to an appendix, you know, and, and let, let your, let your people know that there's stuff that's out there and you may not necessarily see it here, but maybe it's somewhere else. The biggest thing is looking rather than just creating right out the gate. And I think that if you can do that, those are just a couple. There are many tips and tricks that are out there uh, for housekeeping. But I think that if you can look at those and try as hard as you can to accomplish those particular things, it will make things a lot easier for you inside of performance analytics and inside of ServiceNow when you start doing the things you need. So with that, thank you. And hopefully that answers the question.